um, specifically with the government, I wanted to mention this before I close my um, talk and take up questions is um, one of a very pointed use case that we're doing is um, like Aadhaar, we call it Buddha, uh, which is giving a unique identity to every piece of land that anybody owns or wants to own. Right? As you know, in this country, uh, land is probably the most valued asset to study, right? and continue to be. And also the most disputed in terms of the process around it. It's extremely complex, extremely difficult, extremely disputed. Uh, so simplification must happen at several levels and it's a huge, huge fundamental restructuring of the way we look at administering land records. Uh, the way we look at buying and selling land or any land-based asset, you know, immovable asset. Uh, the land registries themselves are very complex organization. Uh, within themselves, within you know, at, at all levels. So, what we started doing in, in Andhra Pradesh State is to look at uh, how can we start making this transparent, how can we digitalize this so that it becomes immutable, right? how can we infuse efficiency into this whole process and how can we make this citizen friendly, open, transparent, accessible right? um, and non-disputable. Right? Uh, so, I think given the other digital initiatives in the country, especially you know, an availability of universal digital ID authentication or that. Uh, and uh, the fact that this will be a strongly beneficial citizen service, we kind of looked at it in the first use case. There are also other use cases going on. We generated the state has generated 100 use cases along with industry partners. Uh, and these 100 use cases were formally launched in our blockchain uh, uh, forum last month. So we are pursuing most of this. Not just as government alone, but you know, encouraging startups, encouraging large companies to kind of pursue these use cases to solve problems that are important for businesses, for citizens, for the government. Uh, and this is one thing that the government is leading. Uh, and I think this will, while well, we just kind of take the first step, uh, the first challenge is to digitalize land records in a way that makes it non-disputable and that makes it, you know, uh, completely transparent. Uh, once we get that, then the next step is really, you know, how do you look at the process flow and how does a piece of land, the Buddha, a uniquely identified piece of land becomes a digital asset and how does it move around in the whole <coughs> community, right? Uh, and the third step really is to make the whole transaction uh, on the decentralized region. So, it's it's something that we're betting big on and for the next three years, you'll see a lot of, lot of development around this. Uh, pilot has started. And I think on successful pilot of digitalization, we kind of start scaling. And as we do that, we hope that in the next two to three years, with the industry participation that we've invited and we're working with, uh, we're working with hundreds of companies in different areas of not just blockchain but in fintech. Because as as this scales and as this becomes ubiquitous, the adoption of blockchain, we have to solve multiple other problems because before this becomes effective. Right? We can't call this a successful implementation unless we've solved the problem of security, unless we've solved the problem of scalability unless we've solved the problem of shifting power to the consumer or the citizen or what the individual, right? So I think all these are very interesting problems and there are different industries solving them, different technologies solving them, plus there is this challenge of ever versioning data, right? Uh, data that is more and more available, but data that needs to be more and more protected. Uh, so I think these are, this is the ecosystem in which we are operating, but the government is not a passive observer, the government is kind of a leading entity in this. And we hope that we can continue to push this forward, uh, the agenda. So I'll stop with this. Um, uh, I have, you know, um, this, is, this is my email ID. You can write to me. Uh, if you're interested to uh, come to work for us, uh, if you're interested to learn from us, we'll learn from you. Uh, we would very much.